Brooks Mercy. Joining us now to discuss is a member of the Energy and Commerce Committee, Georgia Congressman Buddy Carter. Congressman, welcome back. Great to have you with us. Thank you. Good to be with you. So we had a trucking company president on the show last night. He tells us it's a thousand bucks right now to fill up one of his rigs. You know, obviously they can't cut back on their trips just because diesel costs are skyrocketing. But according to a recent poll by AAA, 80 percent of Americans say they'll cut back on their driving as this fuel is starting to hit five dollars a gallon. Seems to me like the Democrats here are just trying to shift the blame. What do you expect uh, to come out of your committee hearing on April 6th? Well, that's exactly what the Democrats are trying to do. That's exactly what Chairman Frank Pallone is trying to do. He's trying to shift blame. Look, Vladimir Putin is responsible for the unprovoked invasion of Ukraine. Joe Biden is responsible for the increase in gas prices. They were gas prices were increasing before Russia invaded Ukraine before we cut off our buying of Russian oil. That was happening already. Listen, I've gotten so many calls from constituents. I, I got a call from, uh, I represent South Georgia, a lot of pine trees here, a lot of forestry. Got a call from a logger who owns a logging company. He said, look, we can't afford to do business at this, paying this kind of rate for gas. Got a call from a farmer. Look, fertilizer has gone up so much, we are not gonna be able to plant our crops th this year. And get a call from a text from a mother, a single mother, trying to provide for a family. She says, I can't afford to go to work, but I can't afford not to go to work. What am I going to do? If indeed the oil executives were trying to extract uh, profits out of this, then they're gonna, they were sadly mistaken because people aren't going to be buying as much gas now. That's what Frank right, right. and the Democrats don't understand. Well, they want you to buy an electric vehicle, Congressman, <laughs> if you haven't gotten the memo well, already. 50K, <laughs> right? I mean, but let me ask you, the White House spin machine, it has been working overtime on this narrative, okay? So President Joe Biden actually caught some heat for sharing a chart with incorrect data to accuse energy firms of padding their profits at the expense of hardworking Americans. So basically making these oil companies the villain. And in particularly, they made this cringe move of the White House starting hashtag Putin price hike and then using TikTok influencers to advance their message. These people that probably have, know nothing about energy policy. What do you make of this desperate need to make the oil companies a villain and then blame Putin and then empower the really silly TikTok influencers. Well, it's just as you described it. It's desperate. This is a desperate move by the administration to try to shift blame. Look, since day one, Joe Biden has declared a war on fossil fuels. He's declared a war on energy independence here in America. That's what got us into the mess we're in right now. Before he took office, we had energy independence. We had energy dominance. And we were actually exporting oil. We were doing what we should be doing. And yet, when he took office, he ended all that because, as you alluded to, he wants us to buy a $60,000, a $50,000, $60,000 electric vehicle. Listen, the, the Democrats... They are loving this. This is exactly what they want is high gas prices because they want you to go and buy a, an electric vehicle. It is ridiculous. And, and look, the American people aren't stupid. They understand what's going on here. This is a direct result of the policies. Elections have consequences. Policies have consequences. We are suffering the consequences of the policies of the Biden administration right now, and we're paying for it at the pump. Yeah, that's right. And, you know, yesterday, I know that the House voted to end normal trade relations with Russia and with Belarus, paving the way for Joe Biden to introduce higher tariffs on Russian imports uh, by suspending Russia's participation in the World Trade Organization. Now, the bill passed the House with overwhelming bipartisan support. It's expected to easily clear the Senate. Tell us why you believe this is the right next step. Well, it is the right next step because, let's face it, Russia is nothing more than a gas station masquerading as a country. You hit them where it hurts them, and that is in their oil and gas sector. That's what's going to get their attention. That's what's getting their attention now. We need to be very careful here. We need to make sure that they don't go to China. And, and all of a sudden, we've got this relationship between China and Russia. That's something we have to be very careful about. But... We are hitting them where it hurts. When you hit them, 
with the oil and gas sector, that's when you get Vladimir Putin's attention. That's when you hurt the Russian economy. Well, Congressman Buddy Carter, it's always great to have you on the show. Thanks for joining us on this Friday night and have a good weekend. Thank you.